Hello everybody, this is Jinjo. I am a music composer based in Guadalajara, Mexico, and I have been producing, recording, mixing, and mastering my own music for almost a decade now. In this video, the developers of the game and myself would like to share some of the process behind the Raymond Scepter of Leptis original soundtrack. I have been working very closely with the developer team to allow us to deliver a music experience that will make Rayman fans feel at home, taking huge inspiration from previous installments, especially from Rayman 2 and Rayman 3. Something that has helped our process has been to pay close attention to the music while playing Rayman's most beloved adventures, taking notice of different elements that are constantly present through the game's entirety, noticing how the characters, the story, the scenery, and the sound effects interact with the soundtrack in a way that enhances the gameplay elements. One of the biggest challenges while creating music for this new game has been blending already known characters and locations with the new ones created for this adventure. I have always been a firm believer that people and places can write their own soundtracks. Knowing a character's motivations, appearance, story, behavior, and importance helps us to express all those elements using music, which is always in service of the gameplay. Even if it stays on the background, it enhances whatever is happening on screen to support the immersion. After finding the essential elements used in previous Rayman games, we started working on adapting what fans are known to expect from its levels and gameplay to our own ideas, taking notice of the instruments, time signatures, melodies, orchestral arrangements, motifs, pacing, evolution, and many more factors that elevate the experience for the player. I have been using many virtual instruments from Arturia and UVI to find the right sounds and effects to give the soundtrack the quality that is usually expected from a Rayman installment. I usually start with one idea after looking extensively at the game's assets. For example, if I'm writing music for a character like the Watcher, I will start by looking at its background details, its behavior, and how it fits into the overall story. The look of the character is also very indicative of what emotion we are looking to portray with the music towards the overall gameplay. If we want the player to be cautious or careless around a certain character, we need to convey it through the soundtrack as well. Sometimes it can all start with a single melody on the glockenspiel or a whole orchestral arrangement of violins and cellos, but I usually gather all the remaining elements needed once this very first idea is completed. And after all the instruments are there, I start giving the track a solid structure and evolution. Whether we need to increase tension or slow down the pace, it all has to fit the overall character or environment. One example of this composition process is a track called Silken Town. I started with the flute, which is the instrument that carries most of it, helping its transitions and evolutions. As it introduces the overall structure, several elements are added, which tend to create movement and depth. The strings handle most of this dynamic throughout the whole track, which is a section composed by the utilization of staccato violins, cellos, and a harp. I dare to say that they add this curiosity and playfulness factors that we tend to associate with the teensies. Once the track has introduced most of its elements, like the high RPG aided swells that are replaced by the synth keys once the strings are present, it all comes to almost a full stop to introduce its defining element, which is the vibraphone.
If you listen closely to it, it is a small motif that resembles the one used for the King of the Teensies track in the Rayman 2 original soundtrack. I always like to find small orchestral or melodical nods to the previous installments to introduce the sense of familiarity and nostalgia, especially for a franchise that's very near and dear to my heart. Once the whole track is finished, I present it to the game developers and we begin a feedback process. As a composer, it is very important to me that those who are making the game feel satisfied with the product I'm delivering before we continue on to the next stage. If something doesn't fit with the full idea, it can deter from the overall experience. Once everybody is satisfied with the sound and the feel of the track, I begin mixing it. I do have a traditional mix chain I feel comfortable using on each instrument, but if the sound needs something additional, I make sure that it is there. From simple equalizers all the way to more intricate multiband compressors, I have a plethora of plugins which help me elevate each instrument's qualities. Once the final mix is liked and approved by the development team, I begin the final stage of creating each track, which is mastering it. I have been using Isotope's Ozone 9 plugins to make this process as efficient as possible. I have been using the Tonal Balance Control plugin as an essential part of the mastering chain because of its capabilities when utilizing different tracks as reference. With the help of the AI embedded into the software, I was able to create a whole frequency reference from the Rayman 2 and Rayman 3 soundtracks. After importing all of the 460 tracks to the AI, it gave me exactly all the reference tools I needed to make sure that every track has the same quality and fidelity as the ones you've heard on previous Rayman installments, effectively helping us to elevate that gameplay experience every Rayman fan deserves from this game. We're still working hard on every single aspect of the game for it to be something worthy of your time and enjoyment. I want to thank the development team and the rest of the Rayman Scepter of Leptis community for letting me be a part of this experience. Being a huge Rayman fan myself, I couldn't be happier being able to work on this amazing fan project for all of you. I hope the final product delivers on your expectations and lets you feel right at home, just like all the Rayman games you know and love.